Now, when you think of stand-up comedy, do you think of a place where the whole family can go? An event here in Arvada set out to make that happen with the 2007 Clean Comedy Contest. <laughs> It was good, clean fun for the whole family. The 2007 yeah, Clean Jamie Comedy Jamie Contest Jamie was the brainchild of two very entertaining type men. Comedian Dan McGowan. We're doing this tonight, next Wednesday, and uh, the Wednesday after that. And the owner of the Festival Playhouse in Old Town Arvada, who decided his 2007 production season would be dubbed the Year of the Laugh. We decided to have stand-up comedians come on for one comedian before each production just to kind of loosen the audience up and, and uh, get them laughing and whatnot. Dan was one of the early acts, but it wasn't long before he proposed an even bigger idea to Charlie, a clean comedy contest. I called Charlie and asked him what he thought of maybe doing the contest here. It's a great theater. I, I love doing comedy in a theater setting. I actually went to McDonald's today, and I was, I, it's kind of cool, they've actually upgraded their menu. They're selling food now, <laughs> which is pretty good, yeah. We don't serve alcohol. It's a very family-friendly uh, atmosphere, uh, and along with that premise of family uh, uh, and good, clean fun, along comes clean comedy. And so the 2007 Clean Comedy Contest was born. Now we met on the internet, um, on mismatch.com. <laughs> <laughs> We're different, you know? Clean comedy show, heck yes. That's what I'm talking about. For four Wednesday about. nights in August, comedians competed for yucks and applause before an audience and judges. I spent six months in Kuwait, and I swear to God, that is the only time in my whole life I ever appreciated Greeley. <laughs> Luckily, Miss Brimhall up the street lets me cut her grass. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently her husband, Rico, knows how to change the oil in my wife's car. You probably think, oh, Boulder's this nice, great place to live, but I can tell you, I live, I'd say, in the, the roughest neighborhood in the, in the entire city. We're over a mile from the nearest Starbucks. <laughs> Sometimes they don't even have enough bicycle parking. Yeah, I got to circle around and around till someone leaves. <laughs> there were 27 in all. Nine comedians on each of the first three Wednesdays competed against each other. Winners of those nights went on to the final round in week four. Why comedy? I think comedy is important to people because we need to laugh. And the other side would, of course, be cross trainers. But back to Best Buy. And why clean comedy? You can only go bowling as a family so much. And, and so it's nice to be able to do something a little bit different, go out, be part of the community, be part of Old Town, and have a good time and do it as a family. Uh, this playhouse has a reputation for kind of family-oriented uh, productions, <clears throat> which really appeals to me because one of the things I'm trying to do is kind of raise the bar on family-friendly, clean entertainment here in the Denver area. Dan's been doing comedy in Denver for nearly two years. He's managed to keep working clean and along the way has met other comics who want opportunities to work clean too. They realize that uh, if they're going to go out and try to hit television or corporate you know, jobs or whatever, they need to be able to work clean. I could retire tomorrow and live the rest of my life in luxury if I died in October. <laughs> well, I think the clean stuff is a lot harder to do. Uh, I, I can be funny at the drop of a hat if I say something off color, but it, it, is, it is much more difficult to be funny and be clean. But Dan makes a different point. You know, I don't think it's harder or easier to work clean or dirty. It's just, what do you want to be remembered for? and where do you want to work? Comedians competing in the 2007 clean comedy came from around the metro area. They were judged on four things. First one is comedy. How funny are they, right? The second is, uh, the second is going to be how clean they are, if they're clean, okay? And the third area is going to be claps, which means how does the audience respond to them? And are you a good audience? Let me hear you clap, just to make sure. Okay, good. And let's say somebody told a joke that was really funny, what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> and what if, it was, what if it was kind of a joke that was kind of a groaner, you know, what would you do? Uh, 
Okay, all right. Judging now, those three areas so far. And the fourth area is the clock. They have to do at least five minutes, have to do at least five minutes, but they can't do more than seven. I'll tell you right up front, I'm a habitual liar. <laughs> also known as a general contractor. <laughs> The Night of Laughs was free to the audience. Comics paid 10 bucks each to get into the contest. The top three winners each night got a little cash back. Bill Gus is $10 back. Yes! Yes! There you go. Yes! <laughs> Bill and Okay, our second place winner is going to be getting $30. $30, okay. $30 is going to our second place winner, Mr. Ryan Lowry. <laughs> They all did a great job, but you can only have one number one winner, one first place. That person tonight is Mr. Kevin Ladd. Kevin Ladd. Judging from the smiles and cheers, the event was a winner too. The winner of the title overall best clean comic of 2007 cleaned up the award the night of August 29th. Congratulations. And thanks to all the clean comedians for several nights of family fun.